I wanted to share with you this amazing book that's over 500 years old about the fishes of the sea and everything that was known in the 16th century about the oceans. It shows they knew about hammerhead sharks, anglerfish, octopus, cuttlefish, and flatfish that we know very well today. But what is amazing is that it clearly contains ocean creatures that we know nothing about. Were these just myths, cases of mistaken identity? Or are they possible clues as to what animals could still be waiting to be found in the sea? This incredible book is part of a series called Historiae Animalium published between 1551 and 1558 by Conrad Gessner, a Swiss physician and genius who loved natural history and spent his whole life providing an encyclopedia of everything that was known in the 16th century. In book three, there's an extraordinary mixture of wooden plates, woodcuts, which show things that are both imagined or seem to be, and very accurate and real. One of the strangest things, which is now quite famous, is something called the bishop fish, which appears on page 519 to 521. The bishop fish has a pointy head and scales like a fish, but legs and arms a bit like a human. Was it real? Was it imagined? Apparently it was given to the King of Poland and could even talk, asking at one stage for its freedom, which it was granted. But could it have been based on anything real? Could it have been something like this angelfish? When it's pickled, it looks even more like a human face. Or was it a squid, as some people have said? Or perhaps even a swordfish. Its dried skin looks a bit like a person. Others have speculated that it could be the underside of a skate, which has a mouth which is almost human. Or even large shelled clam, whose innards somewhat resemble the bishop fish. Gessner was incredibly productive and hard-working, but even he had no time to go and look for all these creatures. He had them sent to him, delivered by messengers, I presume, but they could have been in all sorts of different states, and certainly they were preserved in things like alcohol, which would have taken the colour out of them and made them perhaps difficult to identify. And there's also the fact that Gessner himself would have realised that some of these things, some of the things he's been told by some of his network, that he read from books like those done by Aristotle were fanciful but all he was trying to do was document the state of all knowledge about the sea at the time and so he felt that it wasn't up to him to make a judgment as to whether these animals were real or mythical but of course there's always the intriguing fact that some of these pictures hint at something we still haven't found in the sea